In example two, uh, we're provided with a supermarket that sells two brands of granola, uh, brand A at P dollars per pound and brand B at Q dollars per pound. And they were given two different functions that tell us about the daily demands for each of those two brands. What we're asked to do in parts A and B is to take the derivative of each function with respect to P and then provide interpretations for those results. So we can start off by finding the partial derivative with respect to P of 300 minus 4P plus 7Q, which is our function x equals. Our partial derivative here comes out to be negative 4, which is a relatively simple one. We might have been able to figure this out by hand. And then we could also find the partial derivative with respect to P of our second function, y equals 500 plus 9p minus 7q. And we get a result of 9. So in part A, our result was negative 4. And in part B, our result was 9. So what we want to do is provide interpretations for both of those numerical results. So in the first example, we were finding the derivative of x with respect to p, or the partial derivative of x with respect to p. So what this tells us is that a $1 increase in the price of brand A since if we're taking the derivative with respect to p, that's the variable we would be looking at increasing. p is the price of brand A. This tells us that that $1 increase in the, pr in the price of brand A will decrease our function value x, which represents demand for brand A, by about four pounds at any price level. So this was a little bit different than our first example. We didn't evaluate the partial derivative for specific values of P and Q, because in this case, when we took the partial derivative, our resulting derivative function had no variables left. So regardless of the price points P and Q, our partial derivative function will always be negative 4. In part b, we can say that a $1 increase in the price of brand A, because we're still looking at the derivative with respect to P, so the variable we would be increasing would be the price of brand A. In this case, since the result is positive, will increase the demand for brand B. So we're increasing P to find out the result on Y. P is the selling price for brand A. Y is the demand for brand B. So that demand will increase by about 9 pounds, again, at any price point. In example three, we have a college newspaper that spends X thousand dollars a year on newspaper and television advertising and Y thousand dollars on mailings and brochures. The total cost in thousands of dollars of these advertising revenues is given by this function. So the first thing we're asked to do is find the partial derivative with respect to X and the partial derivative with respect to Y. We could turn to Wolfram Alpha for this, or again, these are reasonably easy to calculate by hand. The partial derivative with respect to x in this case would be 12x, and the partial derivative with respect to y would be 5. We can evaluate the partial derivative with respect to x at x equals 15, y equals 35, and that result would be 180,000, or I'm sorry, just 180 
but since we're told at the beginning that our value for x is in thousands of dollars, that value for that result of 180 translates into $180,000 in terms of the context of the problem. So what this means is that if $15,000 is being spent on advertising, or specifically on t uh, newspaper and television advertising, and $35,000 is being spent on mailings and brochures, so print advertising, is spent on print advertising, our total costs, or the cost increases, by about $180,000, $180,000, if advertising costs, or TV advertising costs, increase by one unit, with those units in thousands, so in this case if TV ad costs, increase by $1,000. We can also evaluate C sub Y, so the partial derivative with respect to Y at 15 comma 35, which in this case would still just be 5, regardless of our um, expenditures in each of those two areas, the partial derivative will always be equal to Y. So what this tells us is that at the same production level, or I'm sorry, at the same spending levels, our costs increase by $5,000 if print advertising increase by, again, one unit, which in this case would be $1,000. So with these two results, for instance, we could look at where our costs would increase more. If we spend an additional $1,000 on print advertising, our total costs increase $5,000. If we spend an additional $1,000 on television and newspaper advertising, then our total costs increase by $180,000.